Let's say if you are in a relationship or if someone in your family is always downtrodden, always negative, and always trying to bring you down, then the likelihood of you stepping into your full power is very low. What's up y'all, Preston Smiles here from Piha, New Zealand at Kitty Kitty Falls. Kitty, 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 kitty. And today's transmission is, and it's inspired by nature, because that's the best teacher we have. When a flower is not blooming, you change its environment, not the flower. I'm gonna say that again, when a flower is not blooming, you change the environment, not the flower. You see, the flower, me, you, all of nature, is perfect in its design. The environment in which that flower is growing, though, is very important. You see, if the soil is not being tended to, if the flower is not getting the proper sun, if the flower is not being watered, then the flower will not bloom properly. And this is a metaphor for all of our lives. You see, a lot of us have beautiful intentions. We have music, we have medicine, we have juice, we have power that is coursing through our veins. Perfection is the name of the day for us. But a lot of us also are spending time with people and congregating in environments that are not conducive for full-fledged God self for not standing in our true power and so it's not necessarily you there's nothing wrong with you and I'm saying wrong with quotes because there is no such thing as right or wrong but there's something wrong with the environment that you've placed yourself in and so if you are let's say hanging out with people who are gossiping and always talking about what's not working in life let's say if you are in a relationship or if someone in your family is always downtrodden always negative and always trying to bring you down then the likelihood of you stepping into your Full power is very low. It's not the flower, but the environment. Guys, you get to step out of any situation that doesn't feel good for you. If you're in a relationship where it's abusive, whether it's mentally or verbally or physically, you get to remove yourself from this environment. Because when you do, you position yourself to receive that which has always been here and always. The music that is on your heart, the love that is in your soul that is wanting to express itself is always there. But you have to position yourself to be able to have it bloom to its greatest capacity. From New Zealand, I love you guys so much. Blessings and blessings. I am, we are, hashtag love's voice is going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love, be love. Those who are extremely successful at what they do, do what they can as fast and as efficient as possible without rushing or being in a hurry. I know this in my heart because the moment you start rushing, you move from creator to competitor. You move from abundance mentality to scarcity mentality. 